Rapid defibrillation can be life-saving. Defibrillation is used for ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia. There are two types of defibrillator an automated external defibrillator, usually called an AED, and a manual cardioverter defibrillator machine. Automated external defibrillators recognize shockable rhythms and set current levels automatically. Some AEDs also defibrillate automatically, but others prompt you to defibrillate. AEDs have adhesive electrode pads attached. The pads incorporate a conductive gel. With a manual cardioverter defibrillator, the user must recognize shockable rhythms, set current levels, and decide when to defibrillate. These machines usually have paddles that are held against the chest to monitor rhythm and deliver a shock. Sometimes the paddles can be replaced by adhesive electrode pads. For both machines, the pads or paddles are placed in the same location. Place the anterior pad just to the right of the sternum below the clavicle at the second or third intercostal space. Place the lateral pad or paddle below the left nipple just medial to the anterior axillary line in the fifth or sixth intercostal space. If using a manual defibrillator with paddles, you must place conducting material between the paddles and the chest to avoid skin burns. Use either a conducting gel sheet or liquid gel that you place on the paddles. With an AED, turn it on and follow the on-screen prompts. Be sure that no one is touching the patient when it is time to deliver a shock. With a manual defibrillator, you must first verify that the rhythm on the monitor shows ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation. Continue CPR while you select the appropriate current level. For a biphasic machine, use the manufacturer's recommended energy level or, if this information is not available, the maximum energy level. For a monophasic machine, use 360 joules. Press the charge button. When the machine is charged, loudly state all clear, and look to ensure that no personnel are touching the patient or the patient's bed. If using pads, deliver the shock by pressing the button on the machine. If using paddles, press down firmly on the chest wall and push buttons on both paddles at the same time. Check the rhythm on the monitor. If the rhythm remains ventricular fibrillation or pulseless ventricular tachycardia, do two minutes of CPR and shock again. Increase the energy to the maximum energy level. 